done my second look, or the, the first kind of couple of missions of the Destiny Beta, and I'll try and do as many of the story missions as I can um, in the time I have. Uh, these betas always happen in a very, very busy weekend for me, so um, the amount of content I get out might be sorely limited, but I will try and do as much as I can. I want to play this as much as I possibly can. And I've got some mates who are playing it, so I'll see if I can get a fire team and we can see how it works on kind of a, a three player basis as well. If not, I'll just pug up and have a look at it that way. Uh, right, who we got to talk to? Uh, not him. Green green circles, green circles of quests. And green top doing triangles. Why not it? One down there. Mm. Welcome, Hunter. Oh. Right, I'm going to get any story bits. Bits. This is what I really interested in. Look how the story builds. Hunter Vanguard. Oh, loot! Beyond the Black Garden. Doink! Yeah. See, like I said in the previous one, you've got to move that little circle around. Oh, can't. No, level 6, level 4, level 4. Can't have any of those. Okay. That's my cash. The blue stuff's for 555. Yeah, right, we'll uh, equip. Okay, options. It's flashing. That helps. Let's see. Remember, you've got to move the left stick around and select the cursor and select what you want. Uh, I say I would hope by the time the, uh, the, the game actually lands that that have just made it D pad presses. Okay, so it looks like I might have a few bits and pieces to do in the tower before we go anywhere else. Um, Run, 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 run. Cool. Welcome, 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 welcome. So one thing I find, I must say, and I, I'm, you may have heard me say this in other videos if you watch my other stuff, but uh, FPS is generally not ones that I enjoy massively. Um, there are a few exceptions. You know, I very much enjoyed the two Borderlands games. Um, I mean, Skyrim is, is a first-person shooter in many respects. So Skyrim and Oblivion I liked. Um, but generally I avoid first person shooters. Uh, I'm not going to avoid this one. Uh, oh, guns, guns, which one do I want? Uh, ooh, ooh. Big hits, small magazine, small magazine, average, slow out of fire, big mag, big. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just. Uh, hmm. Decisions, decisions. High rate of fire. Let's have that one. Let's do it. Yay! Right, okay. Um, but because it is an MMORPG, or an MMO FPS, as it happens, you know, a modern, massively multiplayer online first person shooter, um, I'm fine with FPSs against AI controlled characters. And this controls very nicely, it's got some good mechanics, it's fluid. Um, it's going to be running at 60 frames per second, 1080p on the PS4. It's been confirmed that's the Xbox One as well. Um, whether it's doing it right now, I don't know. But there is a, a lovely smoothness of movement to the shooting. And, you know, the, the weapons have got some nice grunt to them. Um, where am I going? The ship wipe. Okay. So, I'm enjoying it. And it's I've, I've pre-ordered it. I'm going to buy it. And uh, I'm going to see what I can do. In the alpha test, I say I'm rubbish against people. Um, uh, on FPSs, you know, if I'm doing player versus player in FPS, I generally get utterly owned, and I embarrassed myself when I did the um, PvP stuff in the Alpha. I just did one of them, and I got—I think I got one kill and I had about 26 deaths. Uh, I'm much better in, in MMOs like Final Fantasy 14 and, and places like that, but. FPS if I just haven't got the skills for it. See, I doubt whether you'll see me play any of the player versus player stuff. Um, because I don't really want to embarrass myself on the internet any more than I do already. And so we'll do some cooperative stuff if I can, and certainly we'll be playing through an awful lot of the story, because I like story-driven games, so the story's good, and that's what I'll be looking for. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going, there's nothing to tell me where to go. You met? I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. Ready for yeah, do I have to equip anything? Okay, what's there? Arcadia class jump ship. Ooh, already. You can upgrade your ships as you go through. Uh, 
Oh, I'll go to orbit. All right, okay. All right. Uh, right. Well, I don't know why I didn't need to go here. I think I'm going to orbit from anywhere. Right. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? So pretty. Oh. Come on, guys. Go to orbit. Awesome. So I imagine we're on to the next step of our quest. Come on. Brilliant. Set destination. Again, you've got the little cursor, you have to wiggle around. There we go. And we are going to Oi. And you will get to go to other planets. They've mentioned Mars, Venus and Mercury. Uh level two story. Fire team or proxy. Friend, oh, I've got a friend here. I'm not going to be doing any of the friend stuff in a minute, I just want to work through the quests. Um, some other time, perhaps. I, I'd say I have no idea how much longer I can actually do this because it's really late at night and I have a whole day of work, got a training course to deliver tomorrow. Launching in zero seconds, hooray! find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. Guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. Alright, searching for a warp drive. Okay. Uh, so I'm quite familiar with this landscape. Um, I'd say the majority of the well, pretty all the beta was was in this area, quite an extensive area. Apparently, this uh, sorry, the Alpha sorry was based in this area. Uh, apparently, though, the beta is huge, much much bigger than we had uh, access to in the Alpha, which you'd expect. You want to test more of it, see how easy it is to break. Where am I going? Over here. There's all. There's a white pointer on the map in the top left hand corner. White pointer, which leads you towards. Ooh. Oh, they're not going down in one shot with a sniper rifle anymore. Ow. <laughs> oh, new gun. Nice. Okay. Information up here. Down in the tunnels below. We should check it out. Okay, checking it out. I'm going over here. There is a little underground bunker here. I explored it in the beta. Most of it's relatively simple, then you get further into it and there were enemies with question marks over their heads. You've got you see an enemy with a question mark over their head, it's definitely on level. You just run away. Which is exactly what I did. Not brave, but you know. Clever. Oh, Dway! Woohoo! Look at that! <laughs> I've done that! Come on. They're not so easy now. Ow, 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 ow! Hey, what's that? What's that? There's someone behind me. Ow! What's going on? Oh god, they've respawned over there. Oh, let me down. Oh, that's a pain. Right, got him. Okay. Got him. Is there one more to get? Yeah, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yeah. There he is. 
call their nift there, little slippery little buggers, aren't they? Yeah, and you have to face. Nice. Right, I know one of the um, upgraded powers later on is uh, to do with your weapon, uh, so your melee weapon. You can view your melee weapon with something so when you punch them in the face, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not that yet, so I'll do one before I do it. My double jump is the next unlock. Ready. Boom! Yeah. Sorry. Did that take more light? Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Okay. A map of the entire area. What we really need to find is a warp drive, so we can jump to any planet or moon. Our only hope is where we found our ship. Back to the ship. Okay. Warp drive. Ah, beam me up, Scotty. You can't do without your warp drive, can you? Oh, who's that? Right, where we go? Here we go. Back up. You might see another little blip there. That's a um, another cut. So uh, here we go. Oh, oh. 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 Headshots, nice. Kill him. Kill that. Got ya. Go any left. Oh, oh no, this red. Oh god, there's a lot of red. Um there he is. On the map, you can see the red blobs. Oh! Punch! There we go. And there is another red blob. Where are they? Where's that red blob? Okay, now I'm just going to run. It's behind me now. The quest pointer is up here. Awesome. Oh, loot! What's that? Oh, armor. Nice. Cool. Scanning for the warp drive. Right. Bad news. It's Thank already in full hands. Oh, flashing lights. It's got the rust and grime. It's I very nicely put this. together. It's great. Hiding is always a good policy. Yeah. Not as clever as the Q in the permit. I don't necessarily flank you. Yeah, you don't have to be busy. Big. 
Help me. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, that's gonna come. Oh, yeah. There we go. Green pack, green pack. Help! Boom. Oh, come on. Mm, he's going there, he's going there. Come on. killed an Archon. This could cripple the Fallen, and we got a warp drive. I have to get you to the speaker. I've got to get to the speaker. Woo. Let's have a look. New loot. Mission end. 7-6. Alright. What happens when it ends? No loot. Oh. Okay. Oh. Double jump! Hooray! 48 kills, 10 precise kills, 8 ability kills, and BOOTS! I got some BOOTS. That's all I need. Awesome. Uh -huh. Here we go. Nice. Oh, alright. Same thing. Double jump. Double control. Yeah. Right. Let's see what happens here. Loading screen, loading screen. I love a loading screen. I don't really love loading screens. Come on, hurry up. Yeah. Oh! There was a time when we were much more powerful, but that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice, I am the one who speaks for the Traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. 
In its dying breath, the Traveler created the Ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the Traveler itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join me. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. I did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. Okay, so that was a speaker. Speaks for the traveler. Loading screens, have another loading screen. Oh, there we go. Cool shit. Level 3, yay! So, um, I'm going to go back to the tower, I think. I'm going to have a little look around there. I've got some stuff to equip, and I've got some stuff I might want to buy if I can. Um, yeah, buy that. Where is this? Oh, let's go there. Get back to the tower. Launch. Boink. Okay. Um, one of the cool things about your ship is when you um, when you party up with people. So when I did the disastrous PvP that I did during the um, the alpha, um, there were six of us in a team. So we were doing a team deathmatch. I uh, know oh capture the flag type thing, and um, uh, the loading screen showed all ships. So rather than just having your ship, it had the ships of all the people that you're fighting with. So there were six ships on screen. Um, and obviously those ships will begin to look different because as you go through the game you can upgrade your ships and create new ships and buy new ships and use new ships and things like that which is really, really a nice little idea. Um, this is your basic one. There is also ground vehicles as well. Obviously I haven't unlocked one of those yet. Um, what were they called? They are probably called Swallows or Swifts or something like that anyway. Um, which is like a speeder bike from Star Wars and to begin with it's just a bike to be getting around the place on but eventually it's moving on to come with armour so now I'm back in the tower and because it's non story there we go there's loads of players I'm just going to get that I'm gonna unlock the double jump cool there we go that double jump is slightly different depending on the class you've got to glide the um, the warlock class not sure what the gunslinger does I guess I'm gonna have to find out and the hunter subclass uh, and I can then go and equip. What's that? 13, 17, that's really good. Oh, well, these. Uh, encrypted engram. Okay, I've got to take that to a dude. So let's go and take it to the dude. Here he is, he's over here. These are like blueprints, if you like, and uh, he will. Um, I don't think it costs to. I don't think it costs to actually decode the original engram, but once you've got it, you can then upgrade it, and that does cost money. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Crypt and gram. Okay, so I've got some new boots, I think. What did we get? Have a look at them in a sec. Go to orbit. Is there anywhere else to go? There isn't really. Let's play it. Level two. Hi. Right, what have we got? Boots! 
there we go. Ah, oh damn, level four. I'm nearly there. I'm about a third of the way through and um, level three, so I should be able to get them soon. So I'm going to stop recording here because it's very late at night. So um, this is going to be um, me signing off. Um, uh, I don't think I'll have a look at those, but I don't think I'll afford any of them. Um, but I really do need to go to sleep because I have an entire day of work tomorrow. So let's uh, come out of that. So as always, like, favourite and subscribe, do all of the sociables and I will catch you next time. Bye bye for now. Oh, dance baby, dance for me. Woohoo!